Imam Bukhari, Imam Muslim, and others, or relate a hadith from Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam says, we, we envy others, we look at others. And we look at others and we, we say to ourselves, we say to each other, I wish I could have that. We covet other people's belongings, possessions, their achievements. We want the same. Sometimes we want them to be deprived of it and for us to have it. This is why in Arabic, there's a clear distinction. There's a difference between hasad and ghibta. And it's not jealousy and envy, no. Hasad. It's a brilliant distinction in Arabic. In Arabic, hasad doesn't mean jealousy. Jealousy is ghira or ghira, pronounced both ways. Ghira, and this is jealousy even in English, Ghayra is when you become passionate about something that belongs to you. And envy is when you become passionate about something that belongs to someone else. And in Arabic, there are clear distinctions between all three. Ghayra, also pronounced Ghayra, Hasan and Ghibta. Ghayra is when you are possessive. Passionate about what belongs to you. The other two, hasad and ghibta. Hasad is when you envy someone something. But what you wish is that they lose that thing, regardless of whether you get it or not. That's hasad. And ghibta in Arabic means a longing for something. It's not envy, it's a longing for something, which means you want something which someone else has but you do not desire that that person loses it. So ghibta is when you want it, regardless of whether the other person keeps it or not. And hasad is when you want the other person to lose it, regardless of whether you get it or not. Now hasad is haram. Ghibta is permissible only in good things. And the Prophet says in this hadith related by Imam Bukhari, Imam Muslim and others, from Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu, and this is in reference to our desiring, our longing, our coveting what other people have, our envying other people, their possessions, or even their achievements. He says, La hasad, there is no envy, there, or there should be no envy, there should be no longing, there should be no coveting. La hasad, illa fithnatayn, except in two things. Rajulun atahu Allahu malan. فَسَلَّطَهُ عَلَىٰ هَلَكَتِهِ فِي الْحَقِّ A man whom Allah has given wealth and then Allah has given him the ability to spend that wealth in truth. So not just we shouldn't desire to be in the shoes of someone who's rich. No, we should only desire to be in the shoes of someone who's rich and then Allah has given him the ability to use that wealth in haqq, in truth, to spend in a good way. And the second person that we should be envious of, or whose possessions, whose achievements we should long for, which we should co covet if we do ever, is Prophet Sallallahu says, وَرَجُلٌ آتَاهُ اللَّهُ الْحِكْمَةِ فَهُوَ يَقْضِي بِهَا وَيُعَلِّمُهَا And a man whom Allah has given hikmah, wisdom. So he judges by that wisdom and he preaches and teaches that wisdom. Knowledge, hikmah, that is the true wealth.